Hello everyone, Father Bob Gross, and it's Monday of Holy Week. Uh, we're getting almost to Mass time in Festina. We'll have Mass tonight at 6.30 with a Holy Hour and opportunities for confession, and I hope you take advantage of that. In this Holy Week, I just want to offer the three reflections, brief reflections I gave about Jesus' Passion that might be able to help us um, in our own lives. You know, Jesus is the model of of everything. He's the perfect human being. To be human in the fullest sense is to live the life of Jesus Christ. And he helps us face the question of suffering and difficulty that we all have to face throughout our lives. And there are three lessons and three virtues and attitudes that Jesus had as he faced his passion. We heard that in Mark's gospel yesterday, and we'll hear that in John's gospel on Good Friday. And here are the three attitudes that Jesus had. The first one was that he accepted his suffering. Even though he struggled to accept it, as we hear in the agony in the garden, ultimately Jesus said, not my will, but yours be done, O Lord. And it's through his acceptance of this will, his accepting of the suffering, that he was able to endure it. I think that's something that we struggle with often. Many times when we face difficulty or suffering, we many times rebel against it. We try to change it. We try to control it. We try to do anything for us to manage it. But Jesus submitted to it. He accepted it because he saw the greater good in mind. And if God can bring good out of the death of the Son of God, then the logic is, is that God can bring good out of anything that we face in life the unexpected diagnosis, a difficulty in marriage, a troubled child that we're trying to parent, an addiction that we have, those things that we do not choose many ways. Good can be brought out of it if we accept them. That's why the second station of the cross is so important. Jesus accepts his cross. Do you accept your crosses in life? It's difficult, but it's the way of enduring suffering with the patience of Christ. The second virtue that Jesus had was he practiced the spirituality of lament, which he learned from the Psalms that he prayed often and that he memorized. And we heard that today or yesterday in the responsorial Psalm, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Jesus, the son of God, who is perfectly God and perfectly human, still expressed his emotions to God. He told him, his father, how he felt about the situation that he was in. That's seen most clearly in the agony in the garden. But even on the cross, after he had accepted his suffering, he still exclaims, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That deals with the life of prayer and honesty with God and honesty with ourselves to express our frustration, sometimes our anger, or dismay, being perplexed, tell that, relate that, share that with God. And God will give us strength by the very intimate exchange of of the most difficult moments we have in life. Remember the marriage vows, to be faithful in good times and in bad. Sometimes it's by going through a trial together that a relationship is even bonded even stronger. That's the way that we can look at our suffering in life. And the last virtue that I just want to look at is that Jesus never lost hope. He lamented, but he also hoped and trusted in God's promises that he made to him. Knowing that God will see him through, he made knowing that he was going to bring him through is what allowed him to endure the suffering that he had on the cross. And we see that vindication on the third day when we celebrate Easter Sunday. So accepting the suffering, lamenting, and thirdly, hoping in God is the recipe that Jesus shows us when we go through the sufferings of our life. For we must imitate Jesus' passion, death, and resurrection so that we can be caught up into the kingdom of God with him. Where he has gone, we hope to follow. And it's through the door of suffering 
not around suffering, that we experience God's most faithful love for you and for me. Let's imitate Jesus Christ. Let us accept our difficulties with faith. Let us tell God honestly how we feel in our laments, but let's ultimately rest in the hope that God will bring us through if we but remain faithful to him as his son Jesus Christ was in his agony on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Please attend your Triduum services in your own parishes, in our four parishes. The Triduum will be celebrated in Spillville, Holy Thursday at 7 p.m., Good Friday at 3 p.m., and the Easter Vigil will be at 8 p.m. on Saturday evening. Easter Sunday Masses will be 7.30 a.m. in Calmer, 9.30 in Oshin, and then 11.30 in Festina. May God bless you. May you have a good Holy Week. We'll see you in church.